recently, uh, he said defensively, you've really improved. So where have you seen the most growth in that area? With them on defense? Yeah. I just think I'm more engaged, um, actually looking to get more steals and um, just being dialed in, really. Uh, I kind of always kind of had a natural knack for it, but uh, I feel like, you know, starting to show. When did you initially feel like that started to kind of gel for you this it, during the season? Um, I feel like it's just gotten better throughout, you know, every game. Uh, it kind of started where it was, and I feel like it's just continuing to grow. So I'm trying to take it day by day and get better at it. And your former teammate, Zion Williamson, will be making his NBA debut this Wednesday. What's your communication been like with him as he prepares for that game? Um, I, mean, I know everybody's bothering him about it, so I kind of just, just try not to say anything about it. Um, but I'm sure he's excited. You know, I'm excited for him, and um, I mean, I wish him nothing but the best. So, if you could give him one piece of advice, if he happens to see this interview, what would it be? I mean, you've you know what it's like to be in his shoes. Just have fun with it. He knows that. Um, yeah, he, he knows what to do. <laughs> and finally, with All Star fan voting wrapping up today, it's closing out at midnight. Why do you believe Trey deserves to be in Chicago next month? I mean, he's been consistently, you know, our best player, um, best scorer. Um, I mean, obviously, he's uh, passing the bar very well as well. So um, I feel like, you know, he's been consistently just an all-star. So I feel like he deserves it. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, NBA fans. Kelly McGill here. If you like that last video from Fanatics View on YouTube, be sure to subscribe down below for exclusive NBA content.